everyone. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. It's Paris here. Um, I came on because I wanted to answer a couple of questions. I find myself doing more and more financial videos so much now, but I just wanted to answer some questions that a lot of you guys have posed to me just about my previous videos. Um, about Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, um, Capital One, and just what has happened to me on my credit journey. Disclaimer, beginning of my video, all these opinions are my own. Um, no one has paid me to do this. Um, so one of the people that watched the video, they're like, you know, are you getting paid by Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, because, you know, because I was recommending them, and no, I'm not. Trust me, I only have like 200 followers. They are not thinking about me, but no, these are all my opinions, and I just decided to do this these videos just to let you guys know what I was doing and maybe some of the mistakes that I make can help you or some things that I'm doing right can help you too. So um, what this video really is about today is um, a question that a lot of people had asked me, um, how much did my credit score go up when I got my credit card? And um, if, you, if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I'm not like a credit as expert or anything, but I just from time to time tell you guys about what's going on in my life, you know, credit life, everything. So I did not have any credit cards and like I was telling everybody, I had joined Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, which were very good sites and I'll link my videos below about that. But um, I was just watching my credit score and you know, like from week to week, it would go like up a point or well, you know two points but nothing like really really major and I was just watching YouTube videos and you know people were saying like you know if you're not doing anything with your credit then how is it really gonna go up you know and I was just telling you guys about my credit journey with trying to get a credit card and um, what the people at the reconsideration line had told me too so um, as you know I went ahead and I got a Capital One Quicksilver MasterCard um, recommended to me by Credit Sesame and Credit Karma I went ahead and I applied for that car. I was accepted. Um, they initially only gave me $500 to start out with. They only gave me $500 to start out with. Um, and they wanted to see what I was gonna do because I'm trying to build credit, right? So, um, and I know I told you guys that um, after five months of paying your bill on time, they give you a credit increase of like 200 $250, I think, um, minimally, but they ended up giving me an increase of $5,000. So. Um, not that I'm using that, but that's a whole nother story. But what I will tell you, the magic number, why you all tuned into this video, after paying my bill on time for like three months, or I don't even know if it was even three months, my credit score went up 54 points. Just, I didn't do anything else with my credit. Everything was still the same. I didn't apply for any other credit cards. I didn't apply for, um, any loans or anything. The only thing that I did differently, I got that credit card. My score went up 54 points. And this with, this is with myfico.com. So I know it went up 54 points because I actually pay to um, see my score. I'm, I'm still paying, it's like $29 a month. But um, I'm a part of Credit Sesame, Credit Karma, and myfico.com. So I get the free reports and I also look at the pay reports. My score went up 54 points. When I saw that, I was like, what the hell? You know, because I was thinking it was going to take like a year or so for that to happen. Because, you know, I was, like I said, I was watching my score go up before. It'd be like, you know, two points here, five points there. Then it would go down. It was just like teeter-tottering um, with like Credit Sesame and Credit Karma. But um, even when I got on my FICO.com, I knew what my score was. I could not believe it. So, yes, it is possible. Don't ask me why. This just happened to me. That's what happened. And ever since then, you know, I'm just paying my bill on time. I'm doing what I have to do as I described in my previous videos to you before. And my score is is just going up. Have I got like a big go up like that since? No, I haven't. But um, you know what? Actually, my score did go up again when because um, first I had the $500 and then um, remember I got the $5,000 increase. So my score went up again when I got, you know, more money because that made, you know, my obviously my utilis utilization go down even lower and I had like all this available credit, right? So um, yeah, so that's what happened to me, simple and plain. Um, to all you guys that wrote me, I just wanted to say congratulations for the people that did get their credit card. Make sure you use it wisely. Like I always say, um, <clears throat> 
don't get the credit card, you know, just be spending money and just because you have it and you're paying a minimum balance. If you're on this credit journey with me, you you have gotten that credit card because you are trying to build credit and that's what you always have to keep in mind. You know, if they want to give you $5,000, they want to give you $10,000 as once some person wrote in one of my videos before. Don't let the credit card and the bank companies own you. You own them. You get what you need out of them. And why I'm doing this is because I want my score like up there. Do I, I want to be debt free? Yes, I do want to be debt free. I don't have any debts. I have my um, student loans and I need to talk about that because I need to try to get my interest rate down with that. But the thing about it is I'm doing this because I want, when I do go out to make this major purchase that I'm trying to do overseas, I want my interest rate to be the lowest that it possibly can and what they look at i mean they look at your credit score and we all know that and we talked about how important the credit score is so there you have it there's my answer to what i what you guys were asking me if you have any more questions um make sure you leave them below and i will talk to you guys soon bye